Hello again. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to easily track your time for different projects in an Excel spreadsheet. So here you are seeing the time tracker where I have two buttons, add buttons and remove. So when I click on add buttons, it adds a button for start and stop timer. When I click start, it starts recording time for that particular project. And when I click stop, it stops the counter and then it uh, writes the time taken in column I. So I can um, start multiple projects at a time, and those projects which are which, are, uh, which uh, I have started, I can stop them at any point of time and re record the time taken. Uh, so the tasks which are uh, not uh, which uh, nobody has started yet, uh, uh, so you can uh, set an alert for that, like this. So we can uh, try uh, multiple combinations here. Uh, you can uh, start and stop multiple times. You can start multiple tasks at one at one time, and then stop in any sequence, and it will give you the numbers. Now, when you want to remove these buttons, you just need to run another macro that will remove those, and you'll be having the time. I'll show you the code. So. Um, Apart from plotting the buttons, I am showing you the code for measuring the time. So one is for start time and the other one is for stop time. Now the stop timer would be calculating the time taken as well. So when I am starting time, uh, I need to know which button has been clicked. So application.color on active sheet buttons will give me the range which uh, on which the button has been clicked. So basically those buttons are on a particular cell. Right, I have kept it bound to that particular cell so that's why uh, I mentioned the top left cell uh, uh, as the range it will give me that particular cell only on which it lies now I'll set the value uh, of the current time that I can easily get through now function or in fact I can do it in this way cells uh, and then r dot row and r dot column equals now so it sets the value uh, in that cell only basically you won't be able to see it because there is a button uh, on the top of it but it is actually there and I'll be uh, when I'll be running stop timer it will get I mean it will help in calculating the total time and at the end I'll be deleting these values so so let's see uh, I'm on uh, J column so when I'm starting when I'm stopping something nothing happens uh, because here I have a condition uh, in the stop timer uh, that uh, when it is blank don't do anything and uh, if it is not the case then again give me the button and uh, then uh, the time would be uh, in two cells behind and its value would be the current value of the cell plus the start time minus stop time so this is how uh, I can calculate the time taken so Keep watching our videos uh, if you uh, need more sessions uh, or if you want to see this in detail and how we plotted uh, the buttons and how we removed those, you can write me at excel.microk at gmail.com. Goodbye.